All right, welcome into Study Ball for this week. And this week, we're going to be taking a look at a popular concept in the NFL, what we call a 72 concept, which is simply just a seven is a corner route and a two is a slant or some sort of inside breaking route. In this particular case, it's kind of like an under, what we would call an under because it's more flat at the top of the route. So 72 combination, all right? Everybody's running it, everybody loves it, but I can't figure out how it's taught or why quarterbacks are reading it against zone, okay? Whenever we're looking at a concept, the key is if we're attacking a zone, we've got to make sure both of our guys are attacking a similar zone so we can isolate one player on a zone or we can isolate two players with three guys on a zone. It doesn't make sense when you have one route going to this outside zone and another route coming to an inside zone to ever read that against zone coverage. Okay, and I've seen this numerous times and here's what happens, okay? So it's really just a cover three look here. One, two, three, and we got four under. Fortunately, in this situation, this defender right here decides to play soft, and so he's kind of voiding his zone. He should really be up here taking that zone away, but he plays soft, plays to the outside, and gives up his zone. So in doing that, we get this under right here, right? And so, oh man, we played it, we ran it against zone, we ran it against zone, and we got it against zone, so man, that... That's a great zone beater. Well, no, it's not, because this guy should be up, this guy should be back, and this concept to this side should be covered on this particular play. And so when you look at it and when you read it out, right, you see we've got a curl, right, a curl on this side and a swing, okay? If we're isolating that defender, we've got a swing throw, easy throw to the other side where we should be with the football. But because they screw up the zone, we get an opportunity to hit that underneath route, and now we're going, okay, we can throw that concept against zone. Well, when you start to do that and you start to get away with it, it forces you to once again do the same thing. So let's start over on this side here. So we've got the curl and the swing again. So I want you guys to take a look at that first. Okay, let's, let's play this out right here. Boom, right here. Here's our throw to our curl if we're here and we're on time, okay? Now we're going, to fast, or we're going to rewind it, and we're going to go to the backside. So we got zone, okay? So a little different zone here. It's more of a quarters look. One, two, three, four, and one underneath guy uh, that's playing the underneath zone there. But regardless, this guy's playing zone, and this guy's playing zone, and they're taking the two areas that this concept goes to. And you see it right here, right? There's nothing there because these guys did what they're supposed to do. But why are my eyes over there? There's no reason to go over there because if they do what they do, I can't have this. So why am I sitting there to play to them screwing this concept up? Now I'm late getting back to the other side, right? So I'm not on time. Now I've got to scramble around. Now we fumble the football and all things go chaotic because we're looking the wrong direction on a concept. That is a man concept where you're running away from both guys. It is not a zone concept. Quarterbacks, quit reading that against zone. Even if you get lucky and can complete it one time or it comes open on film, it is not a zone concept. All right, now we're going to go to Detroit. Okay, once again, it's going to be down here on the bottom. We are going to have the 72 combination. These guys are going to play cover two. Safety back here, this corner sitting out to this area, and this guy sitting inside. Okay, so basically we've got the under running right into this defender, and we've got the corner running into this defender and this defender because the corner is freed up because we're releasing inside on the 72, right? So there you see it, right? They've got it covered right here. I mean, they've got this guy sitting inside. Now there's a little bit of space. Maybe you can jam it in there, and they've got two defenders that are squeezing this to make this a hard throw. We're gonna to try to throw that anyways. We gotta throw it over one and try to drop it in and it becomes too hard and it becomes an interception in this situation right here. Okay, and so once again, trying to read it against zone when those zones are covered, right? There's not a zone that I can think of where the hook area and the corner area are not going to be covered if we split our two receivers uh, and allow this guy to be freed up. Right? There's not a zone that I can think of where that will not be covered and we'll have to force it in with a great throw or hope that the defense screws it up 
to complete this. This is a man concept. All right, now let's go to Garrett Gilbert, a guy that has hardly played in the league, but we've got the look right here. All right, so we've got the 72 look right here. He's going to get it against man. This guy is going to rotate back. This is what we want to do, right? He has also got a little bit of pressure to the inside, but here's how it works. This is how it's supposed to be thrown. You get it right here. Look at all this space right here against man coverage. We've also got this guy clearing out and this corner over the top with leverage. And so if you see on this play, right, he could have thrown to either one of those guys. This is what 72 is designed for. It's runaways. Runaway against man coverage, not trying to beat zone coverages with two guys going to different zones. So man coverage, you take it, got a chance to get a big play, right? Pick up 14 yards, nice play. He gets that corner over the top. You see the separation. He hits that right there. Man, who knows how far he goes. So it's a man beater quarterbacks. Understand your concepts, understand what they're good against, understand how to attack defenses so you can eliminate as many things as quickly as possible, get the ball out of your hands and not holding it by hoping that a defense screws up a zone. You gotta know what these coverages or what these plays work against in terms of coverages. And once again, a guy coming inside, a guy going to an outside zone, that is not a good concept against zone coverage. All right, we'll just doctor this up a little bit. Let's say we push this guy up to the corner and he broke in and this guy broke in. Now that becomes a zone beater because now we can isolate any hook defender that's right here, high, low. Okay, so a little adjustment on that can make it a really good, a really good zone beater, but it's not a zone beater when you're running guys to different zones. You attack one zone with two guys, now it becomes a zone beater. So that's the study ball lesson for today.